Now Sports with Sports Director Scott Lever. On the surface, the Northwest Upstate Illini Conference looks like the land of opportunity when it comes to schools co oping to form teams. Co ops are everywhere, most notably Durand and Pecatonica in football. But Dakota and Aquin recently had their desire to form a co op in wrestling shut down. Dakota cranks out championship wrestlers and championship teams. Six times Dakota's won team state championships. But like a lot of wrestling teams these days and sports teams in general and small schools, Dakota has seen his numbers dwindle. This year, the Indians have 18 wrestlers. In the past, the numbers have been more in the 22 to 26 range. Aquin hasn't had wrestling since the mid 80s. There are some wrestlers in the youth level at Aquin who do wrestle with Dakota kids, forming a natural tie between the schools. So a co op makes sense. Well, we've talked about it a couple years, some of the coaches at Dakota. We wanted to give them an opportunity. The school boards at both Dakota and Aquin approved a co op in wrestling. So did the IHSA. But the rest of the administrators in the NUIC took a vote in November and did not approve one, so it didn't happen. Co ops and wrestling abound in the NUIC. Amboy, AFC, Lamoille, and Ohio form one. Durand and Pecatonica another. Lee Wynn and Stockton are a powerhouse co op. Polo, Forreston, Eastland, and Milledgeville also co op together in the sport. Even Dakota for a decade has co op with Orangeville, although Dakota hasn't had an Orangeville wrestler on the team for the last five or six years. So why was this co-op rejected? And that's a good question. It, it was very bizarre to, to me and, 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 our, and our coaching staff and, and our administration here at the school. It kind of seemed like, well, the conference vote is kind of a formality. Maybe they're afraid of a powerhouse becoming even more powerful, huh? Well, if they are, that's, that, that's not what high school sports is about. I mean, it, you know, there's going to be good teams. There's not going to be as good at teams. If you're afraid of a good team getting better, you just got to work harder then. Jacob says co-oping with Aquin or any school is about giving more kids opportunities to compete, and it's about growing the sport. And besides, if an Aquin co-op happened and several kids from Aquin entered the program and became championship caliber wrestlers, it wouldn't so much hurt other teams in the area as it would hurt Dakota. Since Aquin is a non-boundary or a private school, Dakota would become subject to the multiplier effect, where it would be bumped up to a higher class the more success it has in the postseason. And we're okay with that. You know, it actually can make it harder for us. We, we never back down from a challenge, as all of you know. We, we have the hardest schedule on one A period, and we're fine with going to the next level if we're that successful. A Dakota Aquin co op is dead for this season, but Jacob says they might pursue one again in the off season. That's